Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken. I am the Rogue Trader. In this episode, we're going to play Unfair Difficulty Blind Playthrough. You know the deal by now. Uh, and you also know that I would be saying that it is harder than Unfair Difficulty because it is actually like super unfair difficulty, extra unfair. As unfair as a speed ticket if you weren't speeding. That is how unfair this difficulty is. And uh, so unfair that Abelard uh, needs to be healed. Heal your wounds, not your soul. And you know what? Uh, Mar Marazar needs some healing as well. Took you long enough. Cool. Good. Now that we got all of this unfairness out of the way, let's help Jay to... Uh, get her business back or secure her business because that's the name of the game of today's episode supporting Jay Shireen okay Shireen welcome to the kingdom of thieves killers and smugglers Shireen all the fine goods of footfall every last one of them have passed through these tunnels the finest goods on footfall must just make uh, this place some sort of monkey trading hall, really? I was actually trying to be a little levity. It wasn't serious, it's describing. And the kingdom of killers as well. I know that your kind knows nothing about the art of killing, but found an uh, order in waistcoated hole like this. Shireen, tell me, why is that all of the sinos you could have taken under your wing, you pick the ones who refuse to understand my sarcasm? As I said, Falco's jackals are patrolling every nook and cranny of this Azicure's place. Uh, see these scumbags over there? We need uh, to avoid uh, them and not to draw any attention to ourselves or else we might as well dump a pile of grox shit all over our plan. But now here we are, follow the plan. If you allow me, Shireen, I will refresh your memory. Avoid the patrolling scum. We reach our sewer canal and follow the east. Almost until the very end. We connect uh, the gas cylinder to the special intake. Uh, ironically enough, it was previously used for cleaning air. And we need to turn the valves in a few spots so that the gas reaches the correct chamber. I wish I knew exactly uh, where that ash mug was holed up. And the final move. Like all the best uh, uh, reggae side players, Shireen, we find the service cogiators and send the gas along the pipes. I'm sure we don't have to remind you that we must all do this in complete silence. Not even the sewerettes are going to notice us, let alone Falcos. We shall work quickly and quietly, understood. And may the Emperor's light uh, shine on you. Embrace true power. Okay, luckily for us, Intriguing. this does not seem to be like some sort of rogue, uh, roguelike game uh, play where we need to slip through uh, patrols. I personally don't know. Shoot, spoken too early. The world will bow. Throne, damn it. We definitely knows we're here. We must save my crew. Let's Hurry. Seize the opportunity. Alright, so much for going in silently, and that's okay. Not everything needs to always happen in silence. I think this is where we were intended uh, to go first. Unexplored. I was about to congratulate the game that this is not like Embrace a stupid roguelike play, power. and then, of course, it is a stupid roguelike play. Each to their own, by the way, if you like roguelike games, totally uh, be my guest. I play them from time to time, but I 
definitely prepare a good firefight over uh, sneaking past enemies. I just find that less fulfilling. Sworn goon. Okay, a couple of enemies there. How may I serve the dynasty? The future Fate is never certain. Beckons. What is it? Elliot. I wander through the stars. Stay here. Over here. There is a further in my soul. Speak, Elantak. My ascension has only. Look no further. Grovel. Should I divine our next step? I dare not provoke Ready the as whispers. always. Well, yeah, well. Well, well, well. What has Fade loosened up in the, fo uh, in the footfall hour? Repulsive face emerges from the gloom, bisecting by an old scar, with a left eye skewed up in a permanent squint. His oily hair has been scraped back flat on his hand, and his swollen uh, veins on his temples look like a pulsating knot of worms. Tora, yeah, Geba uh, Alba here. He won't web you go. Jepre is whatever. Fate is for the lawmen and drunk hearts, Falco. Uh, but we've come here under our own steam, and you know uh, why? Take your hands off the rifle and release my people. Don't look, Jay, don't look. I knew it. Even uh, Falco now, I knew it. Even with your pack of whelps in the line, I knew you'd pull something like this. He, Andre, you showed up here with him. We both know how this is going to end. Fabulous. Your struggles are in vain. Get the characters in position. All right, we got a couple of uh, outlaws back here, and many sworn contractor. Uh, Sworn contractor, no, sworn goons in front. Jay's ready to take her uh, part, Iliad. I mean, technically, we could place her here. There is no cover, anyways. Good, let's go, Iliad. Guide my hand. This tedium is beneath me. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, that's tasty. We're up to like what seven? That's fantastic. <sighs> if I must. Good, first hit. Let's hit kill him. That gives us two extra AP. Lovely. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Hear you moving no more. I understand your intent. This team. Alright. Nice little outlaw there. Death with my hands. Another kill. If it serves your another soul slips beyond the veil. I hear you moving no more. I am not your Xenos pet, Mon. No weakness is hidden from my sight. I understand. I wow, earlier just removed the entire side here completely and utterly. 
Falco, of course, becomes if the prey. Um, Iridia. Anything is. Start setting herself but of course. on fire. Was, was that you? Or... Now nah, we're not going to do that. Instead, I would like to do this here. A little bit of free that and a little bit of that. And of so I can get some extra dodge. Thank you. Takes that, moves over here. We still can't use bring it down hmm strange i can do that with the right incentive um you've got a problem Marazai. i've got a price i can do that with the right incentive moves all the way to here She's fast. We could place her anywhere we want. The problem is there is actually no cover, which is crazy if you think about it. Almost as crazy as losing our entire... Uh, as losing her entire crew just... Because we took one wrong move. Good, that, that, that. Could heal if we wanted to. But instead, we're going to buff someone else. Resolve or characteristics. I think resolve up to a thousand two hundred. That's a lot of damage. Falco learns the hard way that he shouldn't have uh, effed with us. And Lyra gets that, and Elliot gets a bit more damage, and we're Gucci. Idira. Um. Okay, say if we were to move to here. And if we were to move to here, place that thing. Okay, let's. That would be okay. Uh, the grand strategist choose one uh, combat tactic area. Every ally inside this area uh, gains an extra turn for every enemy that was killed in the selected combat area. Okay, cool. Um, well, for starters, what? put this here, that put that there, we'll do. we do that and that. If only you knew what awaits you. And there should be a lot of extra turns now. Listen, we could go to here and hit these clowns. 
or like something along the lines of that. Sure, why not? Let's move to here. A little bit of this. Was that you? A little bit of that. Idira is uh, definitely pumped up. We could kill him even if we're standing just a little bit further back. Might as well do something like that. I, I think that's a better idea. By going over the pile of bodies, Jay brings uh, her hand together and praying gesture. Exalted one has blessed me with an understanding companion. Shireen, sometimes silence is more uh, than an ocean spit of words. And just said we are clear, they died because of your pride and unwillingness to act cautiously. I could see why a rogue trader wouldn't care about the lives of the wretched smuggl smugglers, but these smugglers were in my family. Their souls won't forgive me. Um, I wouldn't forgive myself either. Alright, took a short break, we're back. So, we only have a few thugs left over. Nothing to sincerely worry about. Let's put the trap down. And the one with the extra hit points, we're going to get him down. Finally, Marazai. Not sure if we can reach anyone, but we're at least moving in <laughs> closer, uh, closer to the target. He has done nothing in that entire com uh, combat. And we're placing another trap down. We'll do. So the negative part about that ultimate is no one can attack during uh, during the ultimate. That really stinks a little bit. Takes away the other otherwise good idea of the ultimate. I will not. I mean, we can plant like many. Just designate a target. Many many traps here. Well, that's pretty much about it. This tedium is beneath me. All right, finally. We take a little bit of that and let's charge in. Marazai is bleeding a lot, holy. Earlier went down. Oh my lord. See, that's the strange part about it. Everybody just falls down so quickly. Okay, that's two of them dead. Uh, this is beneath me. Purpose guides me. I need no guidance. No, I don't think so. Don't distract me. There's one kill. That's another one. I will try. 
Oh, and we got avoid manifestation. Never mind. I didn't even realize that it was here. I will triumph. Follow my lead. It will be done. I took care of this one. At your back and forth. First action for Abelard. It will be done. Can I fall back now? Six hundred hit points damage. Love it. On it. I'm not so sure. Sure, have scouted this guy out beforehand. Alright, Jay, for the first time, might be able to kill some. Okay, the death of Iliad again showed us just how quickly things can turn sour. Everything was okay, and then all of a sudden, she just got obliterated. That's a nice blast pistol. Might as well take that. You love to take charge, don't you? Hmm. I wonder. I think we're just going to take this one here. As an offhand weapon, since the offhand shots are for free, that'll be a good one. Also has dodge reduction in there, which is fantastic. Will help her a lot to hit things. The world will bow. Your Seneschal is always there for you. All right. Uh, I think we've done most of it. This wound will make a fine scar. I must thank you. Pretty sure there is not that much th uh, left Ooh, over for okay. us to do. We killed all of the outlaws. Unfortunately, we didn't do it in a calm and quiet fashion. Simply because I didn't want to do the roguelike stuff. Uncover my path. So this is clearly only a second best ending. Let's seize the opportunity. Okay, and I remember that there was exactly a way to jump over. I shall not be deterred. A bitter taste of defeat. The world trembles beneath my feet. All right, uh, looks like we're pretty much done here. Failure stings. A job for me. Now, I do have to wonder what else is left. Uh, so, red hunting. Jay needs some time alone to think about what happened. Uh, okay. And then the only thing else left over is Marazai's shards, which we're going to seek soon-ish. Unfortunate side effect there. None of our other companions of the first group, so the stronger one, uh, I do have a personal quest currently open. A 
I think we're done here, although maybe uh, the current leash wants to speak with us. The eminent Lord Captain evades you in the square, your lordship. Frosha, the Lord Inquisitor told me to let you know that he, it will be his pleasure to see your lordship at his palace. They are matters of the utmost urgency. Okay. Meet the Lord Inquisitor. Can't go back to our ship, can we? No. Powers unseen uncover my path. Good, more people are getting burnt and Insidia. Incendia, sorry. Is just sitting there. So let's see what the uh, Lord Inquisitor wants. Xavier, my boy, what is happening? The Lord Inquisitor is engrossed in studying the star system charts and reports which are amassed on the desk like the ridges of a formidable mountain range and there are shadows beneath his eyes which are ruthlessly dissecting the last report and his skin seems stretched towed over the bones of his skull without turning his hand uh, head he says greetings your lordship your timing is impeccable An aged servant with a bearing of a veteran approaches the two of you. In precise moment he replaces the untouched cup of cold recaf in front of the Lord Inquisitor with a new slightly steaming. Alright, may the Emperor give you strength. I would uh, be loth uh, to trouble our master with a prayer such as indulgence, especially one so utterly inappropriate at this fraught time. Idira shrieks under Kaltasar's gaze and seems to try to sidle be, uh, behind you, but the Lord Inquisitor does not even deign to address the Psyker with a remark. Um, Jay's oh Lord should be uh, Inquisitor, uh, smiting the spear of the Imperium, with the gold faith cutting through a nebulae of the Corona Rex. If I were you, Mistress Hedani, I would endeavor not to draw the Inquisitor's attention to my person. A merchatum tabula rofia sheali can do many things. A reattaching a head to the body is not one of them. Incendia has allowed the Xenos of the most dangerous variety to roam freely on footfall. The esteemed Lady Cora has a frankly surprising amount of respect for the privilege bestowed by your warrant. Marzai, I rather think the monkey fears what the may befall uh, her should she try to get rid of me. One of your acolytes, Emilia, accused you of com companying with the Xenos. I would remind you that the particularities of the Inquisitor's work lie far beyond the rogue trader's purview, but given the circumstances... Yes, Arcolite Lichtenstein, uh, Lichtenhardt's words are true. It has been several years since I established contact with the Drukari. They informed me of upcoming raids and I thought them. I kept the Expanse safe while the Xenos were absorbed in their internal squabbles, which are little or to no interest for me. Whereas I tilt the head slightly uh, to one side, I encounter them praisingly, however, the Drukari is in no hurry to speak his thoughts out loud. Strictly speaking, 
One might regard my actions in the situations as unorthodox, at the very least. In reality, however, they are undoubtedly beneficial. Arcolite Lichtenhardt has demonstrated her inability to surmount the bounds of the convention, and had she been in my position, the expanse would have likely already fallen under the blows of the present crisis. Fortunately for you, she is not, and the Drukari drained by the power of their struggles, benefits um, bereft by their best raiders, can do nothing more than run from my fleets. Your lordship, I hope it goes. Uh, your lordship, I hope it goes without saying that I would appreciate you not spreading the dangerous and misleading rumors going forward. Given the current state of affairs, I would have to treat such actions as subversive. Okay. What is the dispute between you and Winterscale about? His lordship deemed it more important to show off his stubbornness than safeguarding the interests of the Expanse. Stupidity of the most burdensome kind, but my sources have informed me that he nevertheless has joined my efforts against the Xenos, and so I have decided to stay any sanctions for a time. Well, he's dead, my dude. Earlier than I planned, but that is all to the good. On behalf of the Inquisition, I hereby inform you that your action will not be considered an attack of the privilege on a rogue trader. What do you help? Uh, what help do you want from me? Frosher, if you please. The Inquisitor nods impersiously at the servant, draws some kind of remote control from his pockets, or sound uh, whose sources are more than three meters away fade to nothingness. To my chargin, the ability to be in two places at once does not uh, number among my talents. That is why I wish you to serve in my stead. I place such trust in very few people, you understand. Uh, you will feel uh, what it is to walk in my shoes and attempt to compel a gaggle of quarrelsome blockheads to work together. You will reconquer Euphrastis too for me. Frosher, another Rikiev. This one has gone cold. You will reconquer Ekfrentus too for me. The esteemed Lord Inquisitor has uh, done away with all uh, pretense and politeness now. His orders no longer come with even the veneer of a request. Can you tell me more about uh, the planet? The sacred world of the Adeptus Mechanicus, of limits to lay people. I am one of the few who do not worship the Om desire to have set foot on the surface. Or rather, I was. Now it's crawling with unbelievers. And the despicable world barrels are attacking and have captured Uframius too. The cult of the final dawn brought an entire horde of heretics to the planet. I sent my troops to aid the explorer forces laying siege on the world, but a reef occurred among the commanders. They need an authoritative general. And you are perfect for the role. My confidence is not a misplaced, I trust. All right. I will sm uh, smash the heretics. I never doubted your, your lordship. Emperor made the emperor protect. All right. We need to hold a war council. This document attests to the extraordinary powers you now have at your disposal. I'm counting on your success. Trembles beneath my feet. All right. Back to the ship, I would say, unless 
Incendia has anything else to say. Okay, I take that as a no. Alright, fabulous. So, can we now go back to the void ship? Hmm. Good, back on the ship. Let's see what Jay has to say. Likely not going to be very happy. Sherry? O oh, glorious son of dozens of worlds and billions of subjects, have you come to converse with Jai Hedari about the sweetness of her soul? Or do you wish to speak to a trade representative of the Imperium? <laughs> well, does the guise of one of the most powerful people in the Expanse suit me? You're beautiful no matter the gaze. It is hard to argue against words as wise as they are sweet, Sherin. Except sometimes guys is mailed with the skin of their unfortunate owners. And the only way to take them off is to tear skin from flesh. You have already opened the wound with a rusty knife, Sherry. There is no need to rub salt into it. I don't have a gang anymore. And I don't think I need it. A single location can be run by a couple of loyal agents paid directly from my own pocket. They need to be smart enough to do the work. But stupid enough not to realize they are being kept on a short leash. He said he wanted to reflect on what happened. Oh, yes, Sherry. And here is what I think. Since the day we first met, I have been tossed about like a boat in a storm. Battered, dashed against the rocks, lashed by the waves. And then I was flung onto the shore, and a fabulous gift washed up beside me. A precious pearl of the deep. The Mercatum Tabula Officiale. And it was not fate, or the glitter of golden bubbles that steered me on that voyage. Oh no. I realize the power of those who hide in the blinding light of luminaries such as yourself, Sherry. The power that lies in being a shadow that upholds order and light by skirting around antiquated laws. I will become that shadow, Sherry. Perhaps I will even be your shadow. Not another pawn of the Kasbalika mission. But a shadow baron of the Expanse in my own right. A power far more imperious and formidable than any penny pinching steward. A shadow baron? Oh, I'd ne uh, never heard to so acquire such an ally. <laughs> then it is decided. Starting today, I will sail toward the future I choose. What a thrill it would be to ride the waves wherever they want to take me. Okay. Oh, Sherine, thank you for such generosity. I will humbly wait until you steer your vessel towards Dargonus. The Mercato. Oh, I have. Well, she already has that. I don't even know why we had that um, option anymore. Uh, that's pretty much her uh, personal story concluded, apparently. Uh, Shadow Baron, not 100% sure what that is, but I suppose we're going to find out. In the meantime, I will do uh, the trading and finalize that. Um, and then we're going to search that strange planet. Uh, that'll be our next step. Thanks a lot for watching uh, in this episode, and see you all in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.